Welcome back to right, Running. Women Across women the country to Spokane, Washington for the 30th running of the Lilac Bloomsday 12K. <laughs> the elite women are off first, then the elite men and field of well over 40,000. For decades, Bloomsday has been a major fixture on the international race calendar. Major prize money and a festive, welcoming atmosphere bring the crowds back every year. Founded by Olympic marathoner Don Cardong, the event is sort of a local Olympics that got a boost from the 1974 Spokane World's Fair. <laughs> Leading early, Australian Benita Johnson and Olympic medalist Isabella Ochichi, both with recent top performances both first-time Bloomsday runners. Lots of hills in Bloomsday. First, the downhills. And 19-year-old Charles Kiami leads the field that includes several top internationalists. Ochichi oh, is relentless and powers away from her closest competition. Finally, number 101, the tall Gilbert Okari makes his presence known. Also in the pack is number 108, Matt Downen of New Jersey, the New York Row Runners Runner of the Year. Eight-time wheelchair winner Saul Mendoza does what he does best, drop the field going up Doomsday Hill. If anyone is going to beat Mendoza, it's going to be on this hill. Isabella Ochichi made the mistake of not putting the nail in the coffin once over Doomsday, and now is about to hear the unpleasant sound of unwanted footsteps. Those of Ukrainian Tatyana Klater with 600 yards to go. Ochichi is a 5K specialist, so if she has anything left, she will need it very soon. The crowd begins their trek up Doomsday Hill, which comes at the four and a half mile mark. Gravity strictly enforced here. Ochichi finds a gear that Hlader doesn't have and wins in her first try at Bloomsday. She misses the event record by seven seconds. Near the top of Doomsday Hill, the crowds provide good company for Gilbert Okari. But Charles Kiami will not give in to the king and stays close. Okari's carburetor is wide open. Near nature, near perfect, the Spokane calling card. And who can argue? The Spokane River winds its way towards the Columbia River and then on towards the Pacific Ocean. Here, the outdoor lifestyle is celebrated 12 months a year. Gilbert Okari has too many weapons and drops Charles Kiami to take the Bloomsday victory. Uh, I, I very often, am at, when I'm at the finish line and just watch people come in for, you know, hour after hour, uh, just get a great feeling because uh, a lot of those people would not do any kind of uh, fitness event if not for this, and some of them have really made remarkable changes in their lives, and all of them are having a good time. So uh, I do sometimes just sit back and, and say, whoa, this is like the most surprising thing that happened in my life. I'm doing good. I ran it in Baghdad last year. Rock on. I got a crash in my cow. You're disqualified. I'm dying. You've been great. Oh, great. I'm feeling good. Doing great. Have you seen my husband? The Lilac Bloomsday 12K, one of the great American road races. More than a million have crossed the finish line since the beginning.